Hi, today I've got a static inverter from an aircraft which takes the 28 volt DC input and converts it to 115 volts AC at 400 hertz and also 26 volts at 400 hertz. This is one of the items that I was given uh, and I've taken the cover off because when I tried to power it up it sort of just blew the uh, fuse and the power supply went into the current protection so I've taken the cover off and I can see that somebody else has already had a go at repairing it because all these wires on the transistors here have been unsoldered and you can see that there one of the covers is missing on the trans one of the power transistors and most of the screws were missing over in the control board in place now If I put a meter across the DC input from the 28 volt input, there is, as you can see, oops, around the one. I can get it out of shot if I put the meter there. You can see there is a dead shot across the 28 volt input. Now on the sideboard. It looks like it's obviously just a standard push pull inverter with two pairs of MPN and PMP transistors driving a transformer, standard sort of arrangement. Now, so I see all these transistors have already been unsoldered. So I'll just do a bit of checking. So what we've got zip base and emitter. And Is okay. Hmm. Reverse leakage on the base emitter. What about quarter emitter? Ah. Yeah, that one's gone. Ah, that one's short circuit. Next one, the insulator goes there. That's your output there. That's your output to your transformer. Quite an emitter. It's okay. Okay. That reverse leakage might be all right. I'd have to get the data sheet for the power transistors. But so that one short circuit quite an emitter. I suspect that these over here. Nothing. Let's see, like I said, that's a bit odd. Yeah. Might just have a nice switch on voltage. Right, well, what about collector emitter? Okay. Right. Yeah, get the data sheet for the transistors. That, that, uh, that one looks like it's. Them three are probably going to be okay. Uh, one of them might have a bit weak. Now, <coughs> say so I'll check the data sheet. The other final one might be open circuit. Um, I'll have to remove all the covers and see where they are. But certainly that one's gone. Uh, a couple of diodes. A short circuit, short circuit. Oh, capacitor has got a hole in it by the look of it. Yeah, yes, it has. And that short circuit as well. Hmm. Right, well, so first of all, I was on so of these diodes. And, uh, see if it changes. It's looking like this is knackered. Sometimes I've tried to have a go at repairing it before me. Uh, well, okay. More screwdriver. I 
so I think it might be probably worth changing all these transistors. I've got a few. Uh, 2N, 2N64, 84. Nope. 2N, 2N62, 84. Now that one's failed, so I'll get the, uh, see they're all glued up these covers. That's off. There we go. Yeah, 2N64, 84, 62, 84 again. I presume these say one of the PMP and another of MPN. They're all 2N6284s, so I think there's only probably one of them transistors that, transistors that works then. So, right, well those 2N6284s are actually Darlington transistors, so that's why you're not getting anything, uh, a diode reading quite to 2 emitter. Sorry, base 2 emitter. So, that one. Right, a bit more investigating. Right, well I've taken all these components down here in our circuit, they're all okay apart from them two transistors. So there's obviously something else shorted somewhere. You're definitely short right across the input. Where else does that go? That's another red wire. Yeah, somebody else has been dosing this before me. Yeah, somebody else has done the same thing. I think they've come to the conclusion that it's knackered, and I think I'm sure they're going to come to that same conclusion. Right, well, I found the problem down there. There is a big diode underneath that. Underneath this plate here, can't really see it on camera, but it's deep in there, and that is short circuit. Oh, well, so I think it is. To be honest, it's looking like uh, what it's going to cost for all these components to replace, and then find out it's not going to work. I think it might be. Um, Heading for the reverse bin. Um, I think this is going to be a revisit video, otherwise it's just going to take too long. Uh, but for now, it's looking like it's going in the um, in the bin. I think it's just going to cost too much to repair. Um, I sent some at Simra on eBay, go for silly money though. Um, but. The other thing is obviously have somebody else has tried to repair it as well because all these screw heads under here are all mashed up so I can't get that out without drilling them out. Uh, it's going to turn into a massive bar lake. So I think for now I'm going to put it to one side. If anyone knows anything about it, uh, please let me know down below in the comments. Thanks for watching.